You're one of the only men, or one of the few men, that can say that you played Oprah Winfrey's husband. What's one of the perks of being Oprah Winfrey's work husband? Well, I mean, <laughs> well, you get to work with a great actress. That's good. And uh, you get to, uh, get to be enveloped with like a really good heart and a really kind person. And, uh, and I think that, that she really strove to like build our relationship and our connection. And it really, I think it really worked really, really very much so. And of course, you know, she's, she's promoting the film and, and I think that's going to help the film, you know, uh, partly because of who she is as a, as a world figure. But I think that when you see the film, because of the amazing work that she does, one of the most, I think, impactful lines that your character says as a young teenager, he says, um, the law was against us, the law wasn't on our side. And I think in 2013, in our current news cycle with Stand Your Ground and Stop and Frisk, a lot of young black men might feel the law is against them and the law isn't on their side. Can you weigh in here? Do you think young men should be warned to feel that way? And what can we do to change that? Yeah, I mean, with, you know, Stand Your Ground laws, Stop and Frisk, you know, the new VRA, you know, the voting rights amendment, you know, laws, you know, what's going on. Uh, there's a lot of things right now that people have to remain vigilant and they have to see, they recognize what's going on. I know people's voices are being formed, but at least let them be formed and take a stand as to what you think, you know, so that you can take some steps. Because I think the next part of after taking a stance and like knowing and affirming what you believe in is to like take some action. It does not have to all be aggressive action, some of it will be, because that's the nature. There's always these different sides and forces trying to, to make change. It could be writing a letter, it could be calling someone, it could be setting up a town meeting, it could be calling like 10 of your friends. It could be many, many, many different things, you know what I mean? But you need to do that, and I think this, this movie is trying to say that in a way. Are you ready for an Oscar nomination? <laughs> I think it's coming. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, we'll see, I guess. I mean, I appreciate you saying that, though. I do. <laughs> I'm glad you liked the movie.